Uh, well, uh, we're we're very pleased, I think, as the staff as well as the players, to able to complete a whole spring ball session. Uh, last year, we were able to get seven game, uh, seven practices in, um, but uh, we were cut short. We all know the reason why, and that's why I'm still talking to you folks on these monitors, and hopefully that'll clean up one day sooner than later. But I, I thought um, today was the day for me uh, personally to to try to put a strain on the players and and allow them to play in an atmosphere where they're going to play a series of plays. And that's why at times, um, if I didn't think the offense or the defense was on the field long enough, um, I would tell the officials call a foul to keep the play going. And the first series was with the ones and it was 15 play drive and it was done purposely. Uh, there was a couple of a uh, couple of other situations where I stepped in and, and told the officials call a foul because I wanted to see them really react to what it feels like in a game uh, when it's hot, when you got to play eight or nine plays in a row at the fatigue factor and can you line up and do your job? And so I thought that was important to me to watch. And then I just think the culmination of a, a bunch of these young guys uh, that, that is their first year here uh, to have an opportunity to, to compete. And so that was the stage for the most part. We kept scores. You guys can see it was one of those crazy scoring deals, but uh, the talk around, uh, the locker room was, was very simple. And I told him, I said, the winners, um, you get uh, you get wings. Generally, when we win around here, we get wings. And I said, the losers get hot dogs and hamburgers. And so as the score kept going, I wanted to make sure it was close enough to keep them involved in it. And then at the end, I told them, everybody gets wings. So everybody's going to get wings. That was the fun part for me, to hold them at bay. So that's all we got. But uh, pretty good spring for the most part, offensively and defensively. Um, we saw a lot of players, but I think for the most part, we got our system in. We got everything we needed to do on offense and defense. And now it's just a matter of uh, detailing it, being more organized with it, and just figure out what we're going to do every week with the packages and the players that we have in. Thank you, Coach. Uh, we will go hold Amir Koki. Hi, Herm. Um, when you have such an established team with so many veterans, all starters, coming back on defense, um, for the most part, the same thing on offense. Is it important to you to have established too deep at the end of spring practice, or do you really don't mind that there'll be still position battles uh, going in well into fall camp? No, we, we want to continue to, uh, to, to have competition and in, in, in battle for spots. We don't want anyone to get complacent or think, God, you know, because I'm, I'm coming back, I'm a fifth year senior, I get to play. Uh, your reps will be taken if you don't live up to the standard of what we feel you should play at. And I think every player understands that. That's kind of always been our deal around here. You got to compete every day. You walk in this building, you got to leave a better player. Uh, if not, then you, you're letting yourself down in a football team. So I think that has kind of been established. And I, if you can see in the lineup at times, there's some changes and, and some guys are going to get your reps. And so, you know, I think they're well aware of that. Yeah, coach, there was a lot of talk in the offseason about this NFL model. And I think today was the first day that fans and media together uh, got to see this model through, you know, various formations and plays and such. Uh, what do you think throughout the entire spring? How have you guys uh, competed compared to this NFL model that you've set? Well, I, I think it was kind of talked about when I first arrived here. But I think now the players that have been here from the beginning, uh, three years uh, in this system going on four. Uh, they, they remind the players how it works, you know, how, what this thing's all about in, in, in your work ethic, how you come in the building, um, how you understand it's important when you walk in the classroom, this is where you gain the knowledge and then transfer that on the field. And I think the way we practice at the speed that we try to practice at, as you can see, there was only one live period. We've always done that. We, we've been a third team during sessions when we have pads. And generally at the end like this, we let the young guys play tackle. Um, but for the most part, if, if you've ever watched this play, we're, we're a pretty physical football team. And I just think you can save guys by not tackling that much. I believe in tackling. I'm not saying I don't. But I just think there's a time and place for it. And I think the players now are comfortable, you know, practicing the way we practice. That's, that's probably the most important thing. Hey, Coach. Um, so the other week, the other week uh, last week, it was announced that uh, the COVID-19 vaccine will be available for everyone over the age of 16 in Arizona. How have you handled discussions about the vaccine? Do you recommend that your players get it? Have you, or have you had struggled determining uh, whether or not that's in your place? 
Well, I don't know if that's in my place, but I think every player here knows that I, I got both shots. Uh, I'm vaccinated. And, and, you know, this is going to be one of those things that comes up. And um, we'll see uh, what the powers to be tell us, you know, and and I, and I deal with it that way. Uh, I don't get involved in that part. I stay in my lane when it comes to that. I just know my wife has the vaccine. Um, our son was in town. Um, he got vaccinated and he's going to come back. Uh, three weeks from now and get his second shot. So uh, my family's vaccinated. Michael? Yeah, Coach, when you, uh, you're you talking about obviously about the installation, so overall through the whole spring, how do you feel that the offense and the defense, especially the, or the offense the second year with Coach Hill getting to put it in, but how do you feel that all the players have adjusted to the installation and how do you feel their comfort level is with it? Well, I think there's a lot of volume. Generally, and when you have when you think about our office, there is a lot of volume. But but there, I, I compare it to last spring when we only had the seven practices right, and everything we did was on Zoom. We actually couldn't meet in the building. We're much further ahead. Now, with that being said, are we are are we at the place to where we could go play a game tomorrow? Ah, no, not really, in my opinion. I think there's still a lot of work to be done, and I think the players understand that. But now it's just a matter of, you know, regurgitating and going through the process when we come back to continue, to continue to press upon them knowledge and knowing what to do. You know, the, the enemy of football is not knowing what to do. And when you don't know what to do, you can't play fast. You don't play confident. And I think our players understand that. Ellen. Hi, Coach. More specifically, offensively today, what did you see out of your tight ends and Jalen Conyers? What did you like? What did you notice most about your group of tight ends today? You no, know, the ones that were here, obviously. Um, uh, you know, Jalen, the, the kid we, we got, the transfer, he's very talented, very talented player. And I think the, the tight end in our system is going to be a big factor. Uh, we've, got, we've got another young man coming in, a, a local kid uh, that will also be involved in that, you know, Curtis. Uh, didn't participate today, but 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 he's a guy. Stivers is another guy that played for us. So um, we, we've got some tight ends, um, but we're continuing to look for some. You know, we want we want length. I think this football team all about length right now. Length and size. That's that's what we're looking for. And the tight end position, especially, uh, we want guys. You know, six five or more. To be quite honest, I mean that's the kind of size we're looking for. But the guys that we have here now, they will function in the system. Uh, Ethan. Coach, just talking about the team as a whole, what do you think is the strongest part of your team? I would probably say the defense because there's so many guys that have played together. You're talking about a linebacker group that's been here to start as freshman, two of them. Um, you're talking about the secondary that's been together for three seasons now going on four. The defensive line somewhat. Uh, Tyler Johnson, uh, DJ, uh, Lole, Pesafea, we've got some guys that, that, that have played football uh, together. So I would say that would be the strength. You know, on offense, when you think about it, um, we had a new core of receivers last year for the most part. So they're coming into their, their second season. And the running backs were all new. Offensive line, we're glad, uh, you know, Deisha and those guys that had us came back. Um, that gives us a little shot in the arm with their presence. And the other guys, obviously, that, that are here as well. But uh, that's how I kind of look at the football team right now. All right, Coach, I think that's all we have. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. Appreciate your time. Thank you, guys. Enjoy your Sunday. Thanks, Coach. Mm -hmm.